Okay. Good morning, good morning, good morning, day. Day 21. Day 21. But before I start day 21 today, I want to just find out. Have we been did you practice yesterday? Um making a list of um making a list of the things that we want to manifest. Did you have a list? She didn't. Okay, so I'm super excited today, day 21, because today is the day of, uh, as I said before in the other session, that today is, the, it's a good day to manifest today because today is the 11th of the 11th. So manifestation portals are actually open today. So you can manifest lots of things today. You can manifest abundance today. Whatever you want to feel, whatever you want to manifest today, today is a great day to manifest. So if you have, what you want to do today is first thing that you want to do today is to to center yourself like center yourself take deep breaths in and out feel centered feel yourself centered take your air in and out breathe in and out and when you breathe in and out, what you do is that you're going to ground yourself, that like you're going to center yourself, like you'll be stable. And what you want to do today is once you center yourself, you want to clear your space. You want to sage your space. So you can, if you have incense today, you want to put up incense in your house. That's if you have, you can put up incense in your house just to clear the air, sage the space. And if you don't have incense, what you can do is that you can also have a cup of water, put some salt, put even cooking salt, put the cooking salt and clear the energy. Because you no know, salt is a good clearing, cleansing agent. So you can use it, put in water and just sprinkle around your house to clear the energy, to clear the, the space. And you can now repeat for yourself to clear your own energy. You can now repeat repeat the, the clearing energy mantra that I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. The whole oponopono. You can repeat the whole oponopono to yourself today a couple of times. If you can do it 11 times, it's going to be fantastic. Once you have cleared your own energy, now you take your desires as I asked you yesterday. Today, you can make them 11. Today, you can make them 11 desires. So take those desires today and look at them and feel like they are already there feel like they have already happened feel like they have already manifested right so once you do that today do that a couple of times today that was the the work that we did yesterday to take your top 10 desires but today i want you to add one and make it 11 so today we want to be working with the numbers 11 so take that today write that down feel like it is already done feel gratitude for it like it's already done do that a couple of times today and your manifestations are going to go up if your beliefs are aligning with your with your thoughts. Okay, so uh, if your feelings are aligning with your thoughts, it's going to work out. So today is is day um twenty one. So today is we're going to talk about the magical air that you breathe, the magical air that you breathe. Right. And now many people, if you if you tell them, okay, they'll be grateful for the air that you breathe. It's like uh what is air that i'm breathing that i'll be grateful for like everyone just <laughs> air that we breathe for granted right so today we want to like look at how valuable that the air that we breathe is just imagine when a child is born if the child doesn't take in that breath the child is dead <laughs> so the child takes that first breath and then he cries so if you don't hear your child cry it's a real it's a, going to be a big deal so you want the, the breath the breath the breath that's the breath of life if the breath is snuffed out of you you die and if you are born and the breath is not there the child doesn't leave so just imagine the power of breath the power of the air that we are breathing now when you take a look at the solar system when you take a look at the solar system and you see the way the earth is distanced from the sun that the earth has the right distance from the sun so that we don't feel heat and we don't have excessive light. Do you think that this is, happens by chance? This does not happen by chance. This is a divine orchestration. The earth is at the right position 
receive the right amount of heat, receive the right amount of light. If the earth was anywhere before that position, just imagine we can actually roast to death. And if the earth is further from that, maybe the heat cannot be sufficient for plant growth and whatever. And then just imagine, we actually, the plants are there to actually give us that breath, that oxygen that we are taking in. The plants are there to give us that oxygen. It is not by accident that we have a protective air, a protective surrounding of air around us. Like every day, if you go out of this space, what happens? If you go out of this uh, protective air uh, environment, what happens? Out there, there's no air, there's no oxygen, so you die. So just imagine how God has divinely planned everything. Nothing is just happening by accident. Nothing is happening by chance. Everything is having a divine design, a divine purpose, a divine orchestration. Now, today we want to look at your life as divinely orchestrated as well. You don't want to take your life today for granted because if you have the breath of life coming to you, you have the air that you're breathing, it is it is such a great gift that many of us take it for granted. And we always forget that if this air is just snuffed out of us, we just lose existence. We just stop being. But it, it, the air that we breathe is one of the last things that anybody wants to give thanks for. Anybody will say, I give thanks for my life, my, my life today, I'm yeah, alive today. But if that air is taken away from you, you turn from being alive to somebody who is dead. And if a child is born and that he doesn't take in that breath, he doesn't come to life. And if somebody is dead, sick, or anything, and that air is snuffed out of the person, the person just doesn't, the person just ceases to exist. So what I want us to do is this today. Once you start to realize how everything is put out there just for you to be alive, just for you to be protected, just for you to have that air. When this realization starts to hit you, things are balanced there or, or plants are there in abundance just to give us that air, whatever it is. So when you take a breath and you give a thought to how much has been put in place for you to breathe in this air, you want to be grateful about it. So what I want you to do today is you want to... Today, intentionally take breaths, intentionally taking air. Take intentionally taking air and give out and send out. And do it intentionally as you intentionally sit and take in and give out. Take in and give out. And once you start doing that intentionally, you start feeling the air flowing to and through you. You start understanding there's the flow. There's, that's, that's what they call, the Indians call uh, prana. Prana. They call it prana. That's the breath of life. If they, they actually sit down and take real breaths, that they intentionally sit down and breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Now, when you intentionally take breaths, it's a healing. It's a healing. It's a healing that it does to your body, because the breath that we are taking in is life. The, the the Indians actually look at air as life, like it is God Himself that you're taking into, and it flows in and through you. So, what you want to do today, you want to stop and think about the precious air that you're breathing. You want to take deliberate breaths today and feel the air moving inside your body. Feel that joy of, able to, of being able to breathe in and out. And after you have taken these sets of intentional breaths, see, I have to say that thank you for the magical air that I breathe and be as genuinely grateful for this precious life-giving air as you can. So you want to be, be able to give gratitude for that air that you're breathing because it is a life force within you. If there is no air, you cease to exist. Now, be, that now starts to make you give more appreciation to nature, give more appreciation to the plants. Because if these plants were not there, these plants are actually doing what they're taking up uh, carbon dioxide and using it for photosynthesis to produce, uh, to turn solar energy into food energy that we are actually consuming because the plants are the only uh, people on the earth who can convert solar energy to food energy. We cannot convert that energy. So the, the, the energy of the earth is powered by the sun. And now the plants are the only people who can convert that energy to energy that we can consume. 
So when these plants, what do they do for us? They actually take in our waste, our carbon dioxide, and use it in that process to give us food. At the same time, they are giving us oxygen, which we are breathing in and out, and that's giving us life. So today, you want to understand that life is not only about us. Life is only about, also about the plants. Life is also about nature. Like, so that way you go out there in nature, you start to look at even the plant and you say, thank you for this plant. Because of you, I'm able to breathe in oxygen. Because when we go out of our day, we're just busy. I have to go out, I have to buy food, I have to get to work. If you start being conscious of how much nature has been programmed to give you this air that you're breathing, you will be so grateful for life. You'll be so appreciative of life that life becomes so beautiful. So what I want us to do today is that once we set out to go out about our day today, start looking around you. See that, understand that this earth, the distance that the sun, the earth has from the sun is just the right distance to give us the right amount of heat and the right amount of light. Otherwise, if we were in another position, maybe cosmic radiations would have already taken this earth away. But the, the position is exact. It is not by accident. You want to see also to understand that if you look at how the earth is after the, 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 the surface of the earth, you have the atmosphere. And after this protective atmosphere, there is no air out there. People will go to the moon, there's no air. So see how this has also been divinely designed for your protection, for you to be able to have life. You have that air around you, perfectly designed, nothing by accident. And then you have the plants which are there taking, taking the carbon dioxide that we are giving out, giving us oxygen on a daily basis. You want to appreciate nature. You want to appreciate how much God has designed the earth in so much perfection that we can have the life-giving air that we are breathing. So it's not only about being alive. It's about being grateful. I'm grateful for the air that I breathe. So if you want to center yourself, if you want to make yourself to be centered, you want to give yourself that connection to the, the earth. You want to sit down today, take intentional breaths. So, um, the, the, the Indians call it the, 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 the science of breath. They call it, they call that breath pranayam. If you they actually feel that when they are intentionally taking in air and giving out air, it's like God is flowing to and through them. And as I said before in this video, if a child is born and he doesn't get that air, he does ceases to exist. And once that air is taken out, the person ceases to exist. The person now becomes carcass. So in between life and death, the, God is living in us through that air. So you want to today be intentional about your breathing. Sit down today, take intentional breaths in and out, intentionally in and out, and feel that gratitude for that air that you're breathing. Feel that gratitude for that air. Feel that gratitude of how much everything has been aligned for air to get to you. Feel that gratitude when you go out for plants out there, the green plants, they are doing everything in their power while we are sleeping. They are taking in carbon dioxide and giving us oxygen and we are alive. So you want to do that today, taking intentional breaths taking intentional breath. So five times today, you want to stop and think about the glorious air that you're breathing. The air that you're breathing is a glorious air. Don't take it for granted. Take deliberate breaths today. Sit down and breathe in. Once you're breathing in and out, I bet you after the breath, you feel something different. So you want to deliberately taking breaths today, even five times today, intentionally and feel the feeling of the air moving inside your body and feel the joy of breathing it out. Breathing in and breathing out. And after you have taken these five breaths, say the magic word, thank you for the magic air that I breathe. Be as grateful as you can for this precious life-giving air that you're breathing. And before you go to bed today, think of the most amazing thing that happened today and be grateful for it. So we don't want only to be grateful for material things that we receive, money that we receive, health that we receive. No, we should be grateful also for how nature has been so programmed in such a beautiful way that everything comes to us in the right in the right amount, in the right concentration. It is not by accident. Then it means that even your life is not an accident. Your life is 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 not by chance that you're here. It's a perfectly designed thing. So when you look at yourself today, just say, I'm wonderfully made, I'm beautiful, I'm perfectly made. There's no mistake. There is no mistake. 
think i'm telling you if you start to think of how god has designed this plan of the uh, no mistakes everything is working the the day comes in, and the night comes no mistake the sunrise and the sunset no mistake everything happens as it is divinely planned there are no mistakes. It means that you yourself, you are a piece of something that does not make mistakes. They say that God does not fail and you're a piece of something that does not fail. So see yourself today as a perfect design. See yourself today as the beautiful creation of God, perfectly created, perfectly established. Everything about you is so beautifully made. And once you start seeing yourself as the beauty, you start seeing yourself as the perfection of God, you start seeing yourself as the divine design, made in exact accuracy then you start to appreciate life and say i'm i'm abundant i'm blessed i'm beautiful whatever it is that you want to call yourself and doing that today and start giving thanks for the air start giving thanks for your life start giving thanks for everything and you understand that in giving thanks abundance will start to come so to him that has more to him that sees i'm wonderfully made i'm beautiful that accepts himself to him that has more more will be given so he will have in a, an abundance so once you start to notice yourself today, like I'm beautiful, you want to make yourself even more beautiful. And the more you make yourself beautiful, that's the abundance. And the more you accept that I'm beautiful and start a more abundance, more beauty starts coming to you. So once you accept the things that you claim as yours, the things that you accept that they are yours, that's what you have. And to him who has, more will be given. So he has an abundance. But to him who has, does not have, even the little that he has will be taken from him. So if you are taking things for granted, that you're taking the air for granted, you're taking your life for granted, you're taking your own beauty for granted, you're taking your, your divine design for granted, even that little that you have will be taken away from you because you're taking it. Once you take for granted, it will be taken away from you. That's the opposite of it. So you want to do it today. Be grateful for your life. Be grateful for the air. Most especially today, we are talking about the magical air that we breathe. Think about if this air is snuffed out of you, you cease to be in existence. So today, you want to be intentional about your breathing. Intentionally breathing, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. You find yourself feeling different. You want to do it today many times. And don't forget your manifestation today 11 times, 11 um desires and you want to give that out being great gratitude very happily and you find that today is a good day for you to manifest so uh don't forget to like our videos don't forget to subscribe share to friends ask them to subscribe and always hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified i'll be now be posting other videos because for the meantime i've been posting mostly the gratitude challenge but i have lots of things that you're going to learn from to make to, so that i can hold you accountable to make your life amazing so i'm going to start posting those videos up on youtube you want to always hit the, hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified things that will edify things that will strengthen and things that will help you live your life in gratitude and even in other dimensions so i'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow for the challenge and but if you have any questions now you can ask me before we go we still have some time you can ask questions if you have anything to share you can share as well if not then i'll only wish you a a great day but in the meantime let me get your questions so any questions any sharing you can share Okay, so if no questions, then we are going to end the session here and see you guys tomorrow. But you can always send a direct message so I'll reply you on anything that seems to be bothering you. And you can also comment under the YouTube videos. If you have anything that you want to clear, we can you can also comment on the YouTube videos and then we'll answer you in almost immediately. So wish you all an amazing day and thanks for joining. Okay. Thank you and an amazing day to you too. Thanks. <laughs>